Liz, thank you for that. Well, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg revealed that she is fighting cancer for the fifth time. The 87-year-old justice revealed that she's been undergoing chemo for the last few months, but she vows that she will remain on the bench. And joining us today to talk about this is Dr. Dan Spitz. He is an oncologist on, on staff at Good Samaritan Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Spitz. Thank you for inviting me. Well, Justice Ginsburg had lesions removed from her liver. So is this an indicator cancer has spread? Unfortunately, it is. And, uh, you know, she's pretty amazing. As you said, she's had multiple cancers and she had her, uh, her uh, uh, pancreatic cancer dating back to, 19, uh, to 2009 and then just reoccurred about a year ago. And then she had further radiation. And unfortunately, it reoccurred again in the liver. And she's getting uh, chemotherapy now for that. Uh, doctor, given her age and her health and her condition, how treatable is this? Well, all the all cancers are, are treatable. And I, I think, uh, as I've read, I think she's been responding. And many people respond to treatments for pancreatic cancer in today's world. We have some very good new medications, immune therapies, targeted treatments, and more standard chemotherapies like she's receiving. As she is uh, resilient, that is for sure. She does want to keep uh, her, her position on the bench. Uh, will she still be able to have this treatment and, and continue to do what she needs to do? I, I think she can. She's been doing great so far. Uh, uh, the chemotherapy can be toxic, can make people very fatigued, but uh, I think she's done very well so far with it. Yeah, very strong woman for sure. But what are the chances of resurgence if she beats the, this in time? Well, I, I, it, pancreatic cancer is still a tough one to beat completely, but there's no question that we can slow it down and, 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 and give her a good quality of time and do what she needs to do on the bench. And Dr. Spitz, you said uh, pancreatic cancer is treatable. There was a time when it was almost a death sentence with that uh, diagnosis. Well, what's changed? Well, a number of things. First, uh, early diagnosis is always if we can pick it up early, especially if we can identify people who are at risk for that. Uh, and, and surgery would be it. Uh, but nowadays we're finding more targeted therapies. There are some people who there, there's genetic abnormalities, chromosomes have changed, and we can target these uh, and, and with more, more efficient and less toxic drugs. And we're seeing some great results. All right, well, Dr. Dan Spitz, he's an oncologist on staff at Good Samaritan Medical Center. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you.